Howdy fellas, Uncle Sasquatch and Jake. Last week a uh, customer brought a very, very interesting firearm into the store. Uh, and the store owner wound up purchasing the gun and I brought the gun home to clean it. The rifle is signed on the barrel by a gentleman named Leroy Fleener. Uh, I've searched his name up on the internet and there is an example of his rifle, or his work I should say, on the Contemporary Long Hunters, or excuse me, Long Rifle Association, uh, but not much else about him. I do know he lives in Tennessee, and he's about 80 years old, but uh, I just had to show you this gun. I brought it home to clean it up. It's very, very interesting. The stock reminds me of a Tennessee rifle, but it has a lot of the features and attributes of a Pennsylvania or Kentucky style rifle. You notice it has a very ornate patch box on it, and which is very unique or interesting to me because it has a button that's spring loaded to open that patch box up. It has wrist inlays, which you could not see until I brought the gun home and cleaned it up. Obviously, this thing had been sitting in a corner or hanging on the wall for a long, long time. It also has a thumb or wrist inlay. It also has, excuse me for the lack of room, but right here, and I hope you can see it, it has an inlay on the cheek piece as well. And what I found really, really interesting about it, uh, before I cleaned it, it looked like the entry pipe or entry thimble went all the way to the trigger guard, but once I cleaned some of the uh, dirt, dust, and grime off of it, you could see the seam where the thimble is and where the actual serpentine type inlay goes all the way down to the trigger guard as well. It has star inlays over the barrel tenants or the barrel tenant area. Uh, 42 inch long, uh, maple stocked, percussion 32 caliber squirrel rifle. It also has incise carving on it as well back here at the butt on this side <clears throat> around the lock this area that inlay or incise carving extends up the ramrod area all the way to the front and then ends in the design there and there's also a lot of engraving in the uh, brass mounting on this gun it's just just a very very beautiful rifle I wish I knew a little bit more about the builder, but I just wanted to bring this beautiful rifle to you today and let you see it. Uh, I may wind up having to buy this gun. It's it's pretty. It really is. It even has on the barrel, it has some engraving as well. Around the sights, back here, around on the top of the flat at the uh, lock area. Just a beautiful example of, of a builder interpretation, I would say. It's something he probably conceived in his mind and said to heck with a particular school, I'm going to build this this way. Hope you enjoyed watching this video, and thanks for all your subscribes and your likes. And until next time, Uncle Sasquatch says, keep your powder dry, and mind you, top-knot pilgrim.